The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Every day at this time, OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry, calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. They do not tell us APR, points paid, or points received. What they do tell us is the actual locked rate. You don't use an APR to figure out your payment. You use the actual locked rate. So what happened yesterday? 30-year conforming rates, they were up 6.76. 30-year jumbo rates, up 7.08. 30-year FHA rates, up 6.642, 30-year USDA rates, up 6.631. That is for our rural areas, generally no down payment. And the best loan on the market, that's just for those that earned it. You cannot just apply. That would be the 30-year VA loan, 6.414. We love our veterans. So they get the, the again, if, any, if you ever go to do a loan and the loan officer does not ask if you or your spouse have veteran, any any uh, um, military background, if you have served, you or your spouse, get a new loan officer because they're not asking you all the questions that are to your benefit. You're missing a key question. Now, you may say no, which many of us do, but they need to ask that question because otherwise, you know, that's the best loan on the market. There's no question about it. Uh, I mean, you look at it right now. The 30-year VA loan, 6.414 yesterday versus the FHA loan, which is what most first-time buyers or many first-time buyers are using, 6.642 FHA adds mortgage insurance, VA doesn't. There's a lot of benefits to that VA loan. And if you want our commentary every morning, we do it about as early as the data allows. You can go to rsrmarketminute.com, sign up. We'll send you out. It's a two-page. Sometimes there's a little bit more because of compliance. Uh, but we have to put it on there. But uh, it's a two-page report that I put out every morning as early as the data allows. So let's see what's going on today. Real-time data for you. The S&P 500 is now down 20 points. 10-year Treasury up 10 basis points. Mortgage-backed securities down 34 basis points. When that happens, that means interest rates are up. What's driving all of this? Well, we got a PPI report, the Producer Price Index. That's used as part of the PCE, the, the, the Fed's favorite uh, measure of inflation. And it came in much hotter than it was expected, pretty much double. So inflation may be going back the, the wrong direction, and the Fed doesn't like that, which means they probably won't reduce interest rates until I told you they would. That's a July, November, and December is just my forecast. July, November, and December. Not that I came up with it. I borrowed it from somebody who had some great information on there. So we're watching that. Retail sales for the month of February rose 0.6%, slightly beneath the market estimates of 0.8. January figure was already, was already weak at negative 0.8, which was revised even lower. Again, this comes out from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, also known as the BS group. So most of their stuff comes out wrong. So we have to wait months to figure it out. And then the market doesn't even uh, report it for the most part. So retail sales were even worse than thought. Uh, when removing auto sales, retail sales increased by 0.3%, also beneath the estimates. Jobless claims, which measures individuals filing unemployment benefits for the very first time, fell 1,000, 209,000. Wonder when they're going to have to revise that one because we already know that a lot of more people are getting laid off than this. Although maybe some of them just aren't filing for unemployment. Here's the biggie. Continuing claims of those that continue to receive benefits after their initial claim rose 17,000 to 1.811 million. Far less than the 1.9 million readings we've been seeing. But here's the biggie. Now, if you notice... When we talk about a lot of the reports, a tenth of a percent is a major issue, moves markets. But wait, the continuing claims were just revised. They were wrong by 6%. 6%. Thus, my, my opinion that the BLS should be renamed the BS reports. But they move the markets. 
So they don't listen to a simple man doing radio in Southern California. That is the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990.